Hello everybody and welcome to tutorial number 10. Uh, this I'm gonna go through some basics about making terrain for your map. Uh, basically a few methods about uh, making cliffs and uh, a few methods you can use to add some detail to the ground levels ground levels of your map. So uh, I know these methods might not be the best ones. Uh, people out there might know better, better stuff than this but you know these are me the methods I use and I, I like the results so I thought I would would teach you these now. So first we have a simple method here, uh, really easy to do, does give kind of uh, good results, not the best ones, but you know, good enough. It's also really good for player frame rate, as you can see, not many polygons in here. When you do it like this, uh, also remember when you're uh, making terrain, always build everything with the null texture and add the textures as the last step. Uh, this way uh, it will be optimized every single time you do it, really important. So. How you build these? Fair first, you're just gonna build the block the size you need it to be. Now I have this uh, pathway down here or whatever road this is, so I'm gonna make it make it all the way to the end, like that. And the height, well, it can be whatever you want it to be, depends where you're building and what you need to do with it. So when you have the null block set up like this, you're gonna go select the clipping tool from here. Then just make sure uh, all the borders of the uh, block are white. This means it will just split the block, but it will not remove anything. You know, not like this, not like this, but this. Make sure all the borders are white. So you're just gonna go ahead and split this uh, block to different size blocks like that. Keep the edges straight to make sure that this will work as it's supposed to. Now you can leave this all selected or you can also hit Ctrl G on your keyboard like that which means it will group the items together. Now next time you select them they will all be selected it makes handling the handling the cliffs a bit easier. So yeah Ctrl G on your keyboard. If you want to undo that you can go here and check ungroup or hit Ctrl U when you have selected the group. Now you're gonna go select the vertex tool. Then you're just gonna go ahead and select uh, each one of these one by one. You know, you, when you want to select both the top and the bottom vertical, you're gonna you can draw this uh, selection box in the top window that will select them both. And then just go ahead one by one, select them and move move them however you want your cliff to look like. Play around with this until you have the results you want. I'm just gonna do something quickly now. Like that maybe. Yeah, now you have the basic shape of the plug and then just as the last step just select one of the faces and then just check some texture you wanna put it on. Like that. Select the face, now remember the uh, texture tool with this shift and A, you should know these by now. Shift and A, select the surface, hold Alt, and with the right mouse button, make the texture seamless like this. And it's done. It's a really simple method, really easy to do. Doesn't doesn't take long. You can do really big areas with this. Basically, uh, the bigger the blocks are, the p the better it is for player frame rate. Though this is a really really easy method to use on larger areas too. Okay, so that was basically, now you can just, you know, shift and drag it if you want to copy the whole thing, rotate it around to make it make what you want to make with it, and so on. And now we can basically move to the second method already. This is uh, basically the same thing as the first one, but we're just gonna take this a little bit further, further this time. Now, when you have your block selected like this, you're gonna go ahead and split it two more times to make the top and the bottom a bit more slanted, or how do you say it? Like that, and like that. Now, you're gonna go to the vertex tool again, and this time you're gonna select all of the, uh, how do you call this? All of these top verticals that are closer to the edge. Now basically they are these ones right here. I found them found them on the side view. If I make the selection box, hit enter, 
as you can see it will select all these corner verticals right here now you can go ahead and just select them all then just click on any of them you want click and hold and drag them like this no oh wait what the hell ok now it's working so I'm gonna draw them or drag them a few steps back like that and as you can see it gives this nice uh, a bit more finished uh, look to the cliff when the top is a bit slanted like that now if you want to continue we made the same thing to the bottom so you're gonna go ahead and uh, take the vertex tool again and then you're just gonna select the bottom ones like that and drag them out a bit like that maybe and there you can check for problems with Alt P. You should do this a lot when making terrain to make sure you didn't fuck up any of the verticals. So Alt P on your keyboard, check no errors found. This means the cliff is fine. Now, as you can see, it looks a bit better maybe than this this method. Just be really careful when you do uh, slanted uh, surfaces like this that the players can't jump to places you don't want them to go from this. So be careful with that. Also a really simple method if you want to continue from this simple it's the simplest method if you continue a bit you can get really nice results like this. This is also still really uh good for player frame rate, not many not many polygons from this and it gives nice results. Gonna delete this now, I'm not gonna need it anymore. Uh, I, the, I did uh, that method right here, I just copied this cliff to the other side, turned it around and it looks like this now. A cool cool little uh, canyon looking thing. Uh, very very easy to do. So now we're gonna move, or maybe I, I'll save the difficult method for the last. I'm gonna show this this really simple method, I don't know if anyone else, uh, else actually uses this, but this also gives some fun results to your map. Now basically uh, this is just adding, you know, these weird uh, pyramid shaped things to the floor. Really, really, really simple to do. And it it's actually doesn't even look that bad in game. So how are you going to do this? Select the block making tool, again, build everything with null. Gonna go ahead and build one in the middle right here. So you can see it a bit easier. I would recommend, well you can make it any height you want to, you can change it later on. I wouldn't recommend making a lot higher than 32 units because it will start to look a bit weird. But there you have the block. Then you're gonna go to the vertex tool again. Now from the two side, uh, front and side views you have, you're gonna select the top uh, or, or the corners and drag them to the middle. Like this. Do the same thing on this window. like that. Now you have your uh, weird uh, pyramid shaped whatever you call this bump on the ground. Now you also want to make this uh, so that it uh, blends into the ground as much as you can so the players actually can't even see it when they're when they standing right next to it. So you're gonna select the block uh, that the pyramid is on and uh, again with the texture application tool hold alt and right mouse button copy it to the all of the sides and now don't copy it to the top because uh, this this uh, the players will see the edge right here a bit too easy if you copy this copy the ground texture straight to the top now if it's if you imagine players are running in from here you would want to select this surface and copy that texture there now as you can see it makes it pretty much seamless then there will be some edges visible like this but you know players can't can't see this when they're running past the like and as you can see already in the uh, in this uh, editor program, you can see it that it blends in really well. A really easy method of doing doing uh, some ground or your map. Now, you, when you want to add more to details, just copy this around like this. Change the change the height and the size like that, and it will make you know interesting interesting results. Just make sure you. Uh, copy the textures to the block every time like this to make it blend in the ground otherwise it will look stupid so yeah that's how you make those
if you, th you just have to like place many of these as you can see here change the size a bit and you will get fun results as you can see here also remember to tie these to funk detail every time you use them so that they don't cut into the floor making your map optimized and yeah the other method you can use especially on maps where you have sand or snow textures like this you can use this these triangles on the corners of your map to make, make it look like the sand or snow or whatever you're using has piled up a bit gives it a fun look you know a bit more uh, finished finished look for your map I'm not gonna teach you to do triangles now as I assume you can do this by now if you have watched my t tutorials before so uh, the last method we're gonna check is uh, the triangle method Oh, I know this method has different names. I like to use triangle method because you basically build with triangles. Now this is a uh, very uh, heavy on the player frame rate, as you can see, a lot of blocks in this, so a lot of V poly, I mean world polygons. So I really recommend using this only on small, small areas where you want to add some details. Don't use this on large cliffs or you know, large uh, open ground areas. So, how you build that one? Now here especially really important to do everything with tonal texture to make sure it's, it's, as, it's as optimized as it's ca it can be. Now you can basically make these any size you want. I'm gonna use this grid now as a reference point for myself. Like that. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go select clip into tool and then just split the block in half into two triangles like that. You're just gonna go go ahead and shift and drag this block like this until you have the size you need it to be like that. Then you're gonna select them all and tie them gr to a group again. I would recommend building this outside your map so you could just uh, surround the item and select all of them at once but I'm building inside my map because I'm stupid but yeah uh, when you have them all grouped up you're gonna go to the vertex tool and then you're just gonna uh, select I would recommend starting by selecting uh, the side side verticals here first all of them with the selection box like that and then just drag them drag them how you want them to be something like that then you can select the other window and select them all here too move them around as you can see this makes up a really fucking terrible mess in hammer really difficult to uh, change anything behind this in the hammer or something like that so <laughs> I really recommend building this outside and then moving it in and you have what you need. So here we have a really basic shape. Now when you, when you want to move around it a bit more you're gonna go select the vertex tool and now you're gonna change to the top view with the selection tool select individual oh well not individual vertexes like this and then just move them around until you have some kind of a weird shape on this block like that it doesn't really matter if the bottom looks like like this because the players can't see it doesn't really change anything here we have a, a, a weird uh, shaped block you know you have to play around with this until you get the results you want just remember after every single move you make you should check for problems with alt p it's just complained that i don't have a spawn point because i removed it but yeah anyway the cliff is fine when i check with alt p so do that after every time you make af uh, after every change you make to your block so i have a weird shape here now i'm just gonna apl uh, apply some ground texture to it something like that maybe again with alt and right mouse button you're gonna have to try to make it as seamless as you can it won't be completely seamless because fuck you that's why but anyway just try to 
try to do the best you can with this. No, I'm n I'm not an expert in using this method, so <laughs> you can probably do a lot better than me. But yeah, anyway, there you have some really uh, interesting looking terrain for your map. You can basically build anything you want out of this. But just leave it, leave this to the smaller areas because it's really heavy on the player frame. Now you can also build cliff with this. You can build it while it's standing up, or you can just build it like this and just then just you know turn it around 90 degrees, and boom, you have some weird-looking cliffs right there. I don't even know if this gives better results than this, but yeah. Go ahead and play around with it. See it what we see what you can come up with. So these were the basic methods I use. Uh, hope this was helpful and uh, see you on the next tutorial.